Hello students, I'm your teacher Precious Okbebo, reaching you from the Gold Stars International School. This is our online learning and uh, what we have here is computer studies, this uh, third time scheme of work and this is the first week uh, uh, topic, it's for the JS1 class. So our topic today is basic computer concepts. By this topic, what we mean is the things that make up the computer or the basic things you need to know about the computer, the idea, what the computer is all about. So let's first of all define the computer. Here, a computer can be defined as an electronic device which accepts data as an input, processes it, stores it, and gives out information as the output. As the output. Now, there are key words I want us to look into. Number one is electronic. It simply means that computer is a device that uses electricity to work. It cannot work without the electricity. It's either it uses uh, electricity supplied by the PACN or electricity supplied by the generator or the solar system. So it must use the electricity to work or function. So it's also a device. This define, device means that it is a machine. So if you don't call it a device, also call it a what? Machine. What does it do? It accepts data. Now, what is a data? A data is a raw fact. Something that you just get raw, something that does not have any meaning. You now try to enter into the computer. That is, the computer accepts what you enter into it, accepts the raw data as an input. It accepts the input, what you enter. Now, let's look at the second thing it does. It now processes it. What's the meaning of process? To so work on it to perform some action on the data being received by the computer. Then after the computer has processed it, will now do what? Store it. The computer will now store what it has accepted, process it, and it will now do what? Store it as a means of saving it so that it will not disappear or it will not get lost in case of power failure or damages. Now, as soon as the computer stores it, it also gives out that data as an information because it has been processed now that data will not turn to information information and to give it out as an output so an output is what to see with your bare eyes is that you see it on the computer screen or you see it on a paper when it has the words printed by the printer so that is on that now the computer is an electronic machine that can be programmed what it simply means is that computer is a machine that has some languages on it there are languages that the computer understands and those languages we are programmed or written by the computer programmers so that is what helps the computer to do what function now it also works with the fact that are put into it called that i told you before that the computer accept data the raw fast so it is that raw file that you give to the computer that the computer works on so that is on that. So when the computer accepts the data, it processes it just like I said before. Now gives out the information. It either gives out the information permanently or what temporarily. Or it can also store it in the what computer. Now, how the computer can store work permanently is when you are done with your work, you try to save it in the computer. When you save your work, the way it goes to the hard disk. So that hard disk that the way it goes to is the what? permanent saving now when you are done with the work or you try to delete it it is now what temporary so now let's come to the parts of the computer majorly the computer has two parts which are the software and the hardware so now let's talk about the software the software is also called a program it is made up of a set of instructions, the instructions you give to the computer, the, the things you ask the computer to carry and the tasks you give to the computer are the what set of instructions. So the computer does what? Carry out those instructions. And again, 
there are some instructions given to the computer by the computer manufacturers, the computer programmers. It is those instructions given to the computer by the computer manufacturers that will help the computer user to carry out those words, those operations, those actions, to do your work. Without the computer not being programmed by the computer programmers, you, the computer user, will not be able to see the resources that will help you carry out your tasks. So it is also part of the software, the things that the computer manufacturers give to the computer as an instruction and say, when the computer user is using the computer, these are the things that you help the computer user carry out. So those are part of the word software. And they are called special softwares. Now, on that same software, we have two types, which are the system software and application software. We are going to use the word software and program interchangeably. So now, this system software or program are the programs written mainly by the word computer manufacturers. Now, what do they do? Their function is to help the user control what goes on in the world computer. Now, we have the application software or programs. These ones are also written by the computer programmers. For the computer users, they are also called the word application packages. So, there are packages like the Microsoft Word, the Microsoft Excel, database, so many. So, those are the packages that help you as a computer user to carry out your work, your work, and they were what programmed and written by the computer programmers. So as to help the computer user to carry out his or her work text with the computer. Going back from where we started, we will look at the definition of the computer. I told you that computer is an electronic device or machine which accepts data as it receives data processes the data, stores it, or saves it to give out what information as the output. Now, the computer, I told you, is an electronic machine that can be what programmed. I also told you that the computer, that information there are stored permanently or temporarily. We also have parts of computer, which are the software at the hardware. But today, we are looking at the software. We are not doing this hardware we're only doing the software and i told you that the software is divided into two which are the system software and the application software so we've come to the end of what today's lesson i have homework for you number one is define a computer just like i taught you and number two explain the types of software we have i taught you the two types of software we have so try to list and explain them when you list them you do what explain them so students who come to the end of today e-learning program thank you and god bless you please remember to do your homework see you next time bye